Hey TubeUbers, TJ Pyramid here, back with another movie review of a movie that I just picked up today at a Walmart for the low, low price of $9.96. And of course, we don't pay sales tax here, so $9.96. And that is of Wolf Creek 2, starring the fantastic John Jarrett and a uh, guy I'd never heard of before, uh, Ryan Core. Uh, I am a huge fan of the original Wolf Creek. Absolutely love that film. Of course, that was uh, directed by uh, Greg McLean, who uh, has also done the movie Rogue, about the giant alligator, which I'm also a huge fan of. But uh, on to Wolf Creek 2. We got the return of uh, John Jarrett as the ever-evil uh, Mick Taylor. Absolutely love the Mick Taylor character. When I first heard that Wolf Creek 2 was coming out, I was immediately excited about it. Um, after the first one ended, I already had the thought in the back of my mind of, uh, I want to see this Mick Taylor character again. Uh, he is just vicious, evil, just a rotten to the core bastard is uh, the best way to describe the guy. Um, this movie starts off with a him having a, a confrontation with the uh, police. Um, which doesn't end well for the police in a fantastic scene. Uh, just awesome. And it goes on to uh, a couple of German backpackers uh, that happen to run into Mick, which is just a uh, one of the best, uh, I'll say it right now, decapitation scenes I've seen in a long time. Absolutely uh, just uh, as gorgeous as a decapitation can be. Um, scene, uh, love it. And, uh, then he, um, something happens to where, uh, Mick starts chasing this, uh, other touristy guy, um, Paul. Um, Paul attempts to help, uh, an individual, and, uh, well, it pisses off Mick. So you start, like, a kind of a chase movie. Uh, Mick is chasing this guy, uh, with his truck, um, a semi, uh, he wants this guy for, um, you know, interfering in his business. And uh, it's kind of a game of cat and mouse for a while there. Uh, you think the guy may get away, but, uh, you know, in the back of your head that Mick's out there lingering somewhere. Uh, so you know he's going to find him, and eventually, you know, he does. And uh, there's a little game of wits going on between the two. Uh, there's some There's some songs. They sing some songs and have some fun. They have some drinks, like old mates. Uh, some brilliant gore in this, uh, like I said, decapitations, um, dismemberment, uh, even some, uh, nasty, uh, poor old kangaroos getting smashed by semi-trucks. CGI kangaroos, of course, not real ones. Uh, and, uh, mix a favorite little weapon there, his knife, how he loved to shove it into the lower back of the people and twist it around, uh, snap the spine, cut the spine, whatever it may be. Um, I'm glad they waited as long as they did from the first Wolf Creek to this Wolf Creek. Uh, it's a beautiful story. It's really well acted. Um, and of course, the Australian Outback is just a character all in its own. Just a wonderful, wonderful setting. Uh, um, this DVD comes with um, two special features. The Butcher's Cut deleted scenes, and the Creating a Monster, the Making of Wolf Creek, and of course the nice little slipcase, kind of a metallic embossed overtone. There, uh, The Butcher's Cut deleted scenes is roughly about 25 minutes, and uh, it's really good. Usually I'm not a big fan of deleted scenes, because I think, well, they were obviously deleted for a reason, but uh, these deleted scenes are actually uh, pretty cool. Um, tells a little bit more of the story. And uh, the making of is pretty much about an hour, about 55 to 57 minutes. And it's cool because it's almost a breakdown of the beginning scene, the next scene, almost a scene-by-scene -scene breakdown of how they kind of did it and uh, interviews with uh, whoever was involved in that scene. And, of course, Greg McLean and uh, Josh Jarrett giving his uh, two bits. But uh, just a really cool um, making of, because like I said, it's almost like a breakdown of the entire film scene by scene, like storyboard by storyboard type thing. Um, I hope to see the Mick Taylor character again, because I know 
that uh, he has more viciousness in him waiting to get out on these tourists and these backpackers um, out there. I know he I know he wants more. Um, but yeah, I just I love the character of Mick Taylor. I just think he is a nasty, good, uh, perfectly evil um, villain. Just brilliant. Uh, John Jarrett plays him to just an absolute fabulous T. Uh, whenever he is talking or whenever he's on screen or that um, that laugh, that smirky chuckle that he does, just, uh, you know, it, it, it's not good. You know he's not laughing because he wants to be your friend and... Uh, help you. So, yeah, you get to see a little bit of his lair in this movie where he resides in the underground, uh, which kind of reminded me a little bit of the uh, underground area in, like, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Uh, so, yeah, you get to see some of his past victims and stuff, but I, I know Greg McLean has more stories out there for this. There's also two books, I believe, um, done by Greg McLean and uh, who knows who else helped him out um, about the um, Mick Taylor character, so I'd like to look into those. Uh, I haven't actually checked my Amazon or anything for them yet, but uh, while I'm sitting here rambling on, I'm actually going to check to make sure, because I'd like to give you all the right info in case anybody out there wants to go and uh, check those books. So let's see what we have here, uh, assuming I can find them on here. Let's see. Wolf Creek. Wolf Creek. Alright, yeah, there's Origin, Wolf Creek, Book One. And then there's Desolation Game, Wolf Creek, Book Two. And they're still both pretty spendy right now. 15 to 16 to almost $20. So yeah, I'll probably be waiting on them for a while. But uh, till then, check out Wolf Creek 2. If you liked Wolf Creek 1, this is an awesome film. It fits perfectly with it. It almost kind of is a continuation of where the first one ended. And uh, I was just really impressed by this film. Uh, I couldn't have asked for more from Greg McLean and uh, John Jarrett. Uh, I think just brilliant awesome film, good gore, good acting, good effects, uh, very memorable. So yeah, check out Wolf Creek 2. I really liked it. Highly recommend it. And uh, while you're at it, go check out Wolf Creek if you haven't. And if you watch Wolf Creek, then go buy Wolf Creek 2. Buy them both. Make it a back-to-back -back Wolf Creek night of fun. Let old uh, Mick into your living room for a few hours to uh, entertain you. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. Subscribe. Spread the word. And cheers. Thanks for watching.